Hello guys, I'm Sir Fancy and let me show you a plugin that will make your VR game explode, like literally explode. It was created by Joshua Stetzer and you have his YouTube channel in the description, so make sure to show him some love and let me show you why this plugin is so awesome. Just in this template you have so much more stuff than in regular template from Unreal Engine, so let's look at that for example. You can hold, just hold to this and look at that, you can follow it. And if it's not enough, let's teleport here. And yes, you can claim, claim up just like the Spider-Man or whatever you are trying to do. And that's not everything, of course. There is a car that you can drive just like that. I'm not going to drive that because it makes me a bit motion sick. Another thing is that there are drawers that you can just hold and open like that. And that's not everything, of course. Look at all these weapons that you can just take. Okay, come here. Your hand matches it just like that and you can hold it with both of your hands. Look at it. Use it, fight it, blah blah blah. Let's for example use this dagger. And look at this guy, he looks kinda sad so maybe let's put some smile on him. Something like that would be fine. And what is super cool, if you don't wanna just like cut him or whatever, you can actually stab him. Look at that. And it stays there. Alright, let me walk you through installation of this plugin. Uh, first thing is that it's licensed under MIT, which means that you can use it for whatever game you want, even for a commercial game, you just need to make sure that you credit the author and the whole plugin. So that's the reason why you have this in the video, or just that you can find it. We, we need to go on this website, which you can find on the description. Also notice that author got Epic Mega Grant, which sort of means, hey, this is some pretty good stuff, like you should keep eye on that. So let's get to repositories and code, and you can click on main plugin repository. But this will get you, of course, on GitHub, and you can download here a whole uh, plugin, etc, etc. But do you, you can of course follow this tutorial, blah, 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 but you would need to rebuild it from C++ with, and you, for that you need to have installed Visual Studio, etc. But we can have a way around that, luckily. So we will go back to this website and click on binaries. Let's close this one and we will get full binaries and source packages for version of Unreal Engine that we are using. It's probably 4.25 or just newest one here. You, If you are not sure, you can just click on your Epic Launcher and notice your version here. So let's download this 4.25 and it will just get you to Google Disk, you can download it, blah blah blah. And if you have it, I would also recommend you to download template project that you click back here and example template repository. For here you can download it and will download you whole project with a lot of stuff you can see that it's frequently updated the last one 12 hours ago so let's look into that so just click here on download zip all right so now you should have everything downloaded so let's open vr expansion plugin 4.25 and what we need to do is to find where our engine is installed if you have it set on default it will be probably in c program files Epic Games and here you should have UE 4.25 which I don't have because I have installed it somewhere else. So if you have changed the direction where you download your engine you need to find it yourself and let's go to UE 4.25 and open engine and plugins and I have it already here but what you simply need to do is to take that your zip, zipped file and put it right here. But make sure that you extract both of these folders. All right, now let's get back to VR expansion plugin example master so you can play with it and just right click and extract it where you need. That's all up to you. It will create new folder where is a whole project. So now let's open it and if you can of course rename it, it has a renamer here, but if you open it right now, it will probably need to rebuild the project. Yes, right. Exactly that. Uh, he's basically said that some uh, modules are missing, which are the ones that we have just extracted to main direction of the folder. So you just need to rebuild them, click on yes. You can watch the log, it will fix everything. There shouldn't be any problem. Once it will be finished, it will just start the regular project and you can do whatever you want with it. All right, congratulations, plugin is installed. If you are not sure, click on plugins and you can see it right here. Open VR expansion plugin and VR expansion plugin. It's checked, pretty good. Anyway, right now I will give you just a quick walkthrough what you can do here, but after that walkthrough, you will be probably just screaming like, hey, 
help, fancy please, or someone else please, because it's quite complicated to set this all up, but don't worry, I got your back. I am going to create from beginner to advanced Unreal Engine tutorials VR series where you will learn exactly how to work with this plugin and how to create your own zombie game, but it doesn't really matter what kind of game it is, just how to work with all these VR mechanics, etc, etc. So if you are interested in that, definitely subscribe, like and stuff. Let's get to that quick walkthrough. All right, so you need to press thumbstick to teleport somewhere. And yeah, if you want to rotate your look, where you will look basically when you teleport, you need to rotate it uh, with that thumbstick that you are pressing. So one of the pretty interesting thing right here is climbing. If you go right here and touch any of that, you can bring yourself up and climb this whatever block that is and then fall down as I just did. Another thing is that you can pretty well teleport whenever you want and not only teleport of course, if you press A on my controller, it's a lower button on Oculus Quest, you can change different form of movement. For example, right now it's set to D-pad hover, which means that I am moving just with my joystick. Let's try something else, for example, running in place, not, arm swings, not, and let's, <laughs> let's do navigate, for example. So if you click there, it will move you right there can be quite useful if you are controlling different character or if you just want to apply this when you control a vehicle or something and let's do out of body navigation that doesn't look that bad actually you just press yourself some position your character will move there and once it will get that lo to that location it will teleport you pretty interesting for different kind of games as well and what you can also do is, of course, open the drawer. Pretty awesome stuff. But you can see that your hand is not exactly looking as you would wish, like, wish it to be. So what you can do here is actually teleport right here to this tab. And, okay, you need to face it. My bad. And if you press another button, which is the other one on Oculus Quest controller, you may have it differently. You can change your default hand to... Let's do grasping hands. You can do physics grasping hands, but they are a bit more performance heavy, so make sure that you know what you are doing. And I will do it just to flex on you a little bit. Even you can flex now as well because you have the you have that plugin already. So then you click on this button and disable this showcase. So now what we have enabled is basically interact or oh, letting those hands interact with the rest of the physics world. If you look at that, I can't push and more than I would normally and I can of course <laughs> with one finger <laughs> open the door teleport inside and for example pick this up you can see you can see that I don't really have enough strength with one hand but if I hold it with both hands it works just fine and look at how ah that was too heavy look at how well it works with finger catching and stuff. How how are we going to call it, guys? I want to know in comments how are we going to call this finger synchronization with mesh. Look at that, how I can do it with this sphere. Oh, is it sphere? Oh, it's just some weapon. I'm not sure. You can hold it with both hands if you want. You can put it wherever you want. Etc, etc. And let's take, for example, this dagger. Oh, come on, hold it. As you can see that physics hands doesn't wor don't work that well yet, so that's why I would recommend you to use grasping hands and that's what I'm going to be using in the tutorial series. And let's touch this guy, hello good. You can kinda try to cut him or you can actually even stab him. Alright, that's about it, I hope that this video was helpful for you and stay tuned for that tutorial series that I talked about. Well, see ya, Sarfancy out!